So therefore, the message of Lord Buddha, in short, and I'm summarizing 40 years of his career, in short is, have self-esteem based on the fact that with effort, you can improve and become better. Rejoice in the good actions that you have done and increase it. Recognize the faults that you have and work on it. And when you make a mistake, get up and do and try again. And when we do that, respect for people and cultures and religion all arise in our minds. Acceptance of people, acceptance of how they should be, and we come out of our box. Wisdom arises. You know what's wisdom? Wisdom is not knowledge alone. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do that benefits many beings. Wisdom arises. And the most beautiful thing that arises in your mind, the most beautiful is compassion. Your mind will abide in a state of compassion. And that state is what? It's not running around feeding the poor. It's not taking care of old people. Compassion is a state of mind where you have no motivation to bring any harm to anyone. And that state is possible. Any glimpses of that state already brings great peace and happiness. It's definitely possible. And that's what we want to achieve. So whether you believe in next life or not, never mind. Believe in this life. Believe in this life. Oh, don't think, oh, I'm 120 years old. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can still make a difference. Definitely you can. Don't give up hope. Hope is very important. Hope based on logic, not hope based on stupidity. Well, I can walk on water. I hope for that. Go try it. Let me know. I'll send the people to take some pictures of you falling into the water. So, forgive those that harm you and let go and find peace and create peace in their minds and in your mind. Accept people as they are because everybody has their own karma and many lifetimes of what they've done to create what they are. So it might be difficult for some people to accept. And if you can't forgive and accept immediately, don't hold a grudge, work on it to become less. Be generous with people around you. Be fair. When you make a promise, keep it. Keep it. Because people get destroyed by broken commitments and promises. Keep it. And when you meet anyone, anywhere, this is your Bible. This is the Bible of a good human being who believes in God without themselves, nothing but they believe in this life. It's those eight verses written on the right side of the um, main entrance. It starts with, whenever I associate with myself with others, I think myself the lowest among all and hold others free from death my heart. If we hold those eight verses to our heart and we practice those, you will see a human, humongous difference in your mind, in your body. I promise you, your home situation, your health situation, your friendship situation, everything around you will change. You know why it changed? Because you made a change. Do you know why you can make a change? Because you've been given a method that is foolproof by Buddha. Remember, the Buddha didn't save you, you saved yourself. He just taught you a method that he tried in the work. And you know, in life, everything we know is taught by someone else, by example. The Japanese monkeys that live along the shore, the scientists observed 30, 40 years ago, they didn't wash the things that they ate. Now when they go back and observe them, according to you know Discovery Channel, they wash everything. Because one monkey discovered that if you wash the dirt off, it's easier and more pleasant to eat. So the other monkeys wash and everybody learns. So now it's a it's an in thing for the monkeys and, and the seas of Japan, you know, the ones that live along the north, they all wash the things before they eat. Yeah, you can watch, it's quite cute. And that's the same with us. We watch, we learn. That's how we learned everything. So Buddha can be our teacher too. He can teach us more than a monkey washing his, you know, its food. And then you'll see change. Then the miracle happens. Your mind will be light. You'll make everybody happy around you. And your presence and your mind and your voice and your sound and your presence and your appearance will bring happiness to people's minds. And then along with that, when you engage in meditation such as Lama Tsongkhapa, you will accelerate your transformation. 
Your transformation from within will definitely accelerate, and you will see difference. Very much. Very, very much.